What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and I just have to do a random rant because I just watched that secret leaked God of War gameplay, and holy heck is it mind-blowing. However, there's two things. Number one, some people are really hating on it, and I'll address that in a second, and number two, I'm not allowed to show any of it. If you even show a screenshot of this gameplay in your video, Sony is taking it down. Obviously, they're being protective of their game. It doesn't come out for another month. However, what I saw in this video was nuts. Let me start by explaining what the video was. So just a couple days ago, people were able to go to uh, the studio and actually look at this game, and they played the opening three hours. Well, it seems like somebody recorded their three hours and made like a montage of like the coolest moments. This was a 10 minute video of one minute clips uh, showing crafting, how you interact with the kid, a basic puzzle, and a ton of combat. Let me start with the fighting because that is what the most people are hating on and is the most different, but it's actually what I am the most insanely hyped about. So it's definitely slower. It is a lot more methodical. If I had to describe this new combat system in a single word, I'd say kinetic. So kinetic energy is all about the force of motion, and that is such a major aspect of how Kratos fights now. So his axe seems to be like Thor's hammer. It automatically pulls back to his hand no matter what. So there were so many different fights where we see him stick it into one person, punch a second person, and then magnetize it back to his hand. Because it looks like crowd control is actually a pretty big part of this. Trying to maintain all these different fights at once, because these enemies look like they hit really hard. And another thing that actually kind of surprised me is Kratos has a shield, a really huge one too, and a lot of times he's basically hiding behind it because these things that he's fighting are giant trolls and mutants and basically Norse mythology zombies, all of them looking to tear him apart and probably eat his magical skin. So because of it, every single blow looked like it took off a ton of his health, so he had to fight very defensively. Now, that alone was really cool, but there looked to be some sort of magic aspect to how he was fighting. Now, we saw in some of the early E3 stuff, him using like lightning spells and ice spells. These look like they are going to be very, very, very vital to trying to guard yourself. Freezing one target that's doing the most damage and then shattering others looks to be incredibly vital to surviving some of these fights. Now, something that people are kind of hating on is the fact that when you fight, his kid actually does a lot of fighting with you. He's actually a really big part of the combat, which is what really kind of shocked me the most. So legitimately, in one of the clips, his son runs up to somebody, like you're fighting one guy, you're chopping him up with your ax, and the little kid runs up and starts beating him with his bow. At the same time, he's jumping into the fray. You see a monster even uppercut the kid and toss him back about 15 feet, and then he hops right back up and keeps fighting, which I feel like really implies the fact that Kratos' son is definitely magic to some degree as well. There is no way, if you got hit by something like that, it would shatter every single organ in your chest, even if you are a really tough guy. To see a like 12 year old kid get hit with a freight train and just jump right up and start shooting arrows is a pretty big deal. Something else this kid did is, at one point, I saw Kratos get out his shield, deflect one blow, hit his axe to stun one foe, and then at the same time, uh, his son jumped on somebody's face and started kicking him in the face. So clearly, his son is going to have a lot of the, like, the leaping techniques and stuff. So it really kind of implied from the gameplay I saw that Kratos has been teaching his son to fight in the same way he does which is really fascinating. Now, I want to talk about something else they showed, which I'm kind of really kind of impressed that they showed this in their little montage, which is the upgrade system. You're actually going to be crafting gear. Since this game takes place, I think, uh, with North mythology instead of Greek mythology, you'll correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, you see a dwarf. And 
Dwarves in North mythology have black skin and are really, really tiny. They look like shrunken down people. So he walks up and starts talking to Kratos, being like, Oh man, still in all that trouble, are ya? Well, let me show you my wares. And it turns out that he has a shop that crafts different stuff. Everything, all the items that we saw, looked to just be bought with whatever the currency of the land was. I didn't see anything where you're having to actually craft. You're not collecting materials, you're not having to pick up scrap, it's just about buying it. There also didn't seem to be any sort of special microtransaction currency. I know some people are worried about that. But what's really kind of cool is, your actual outfits change. Most of the time, in all the previous Kratos games, um, when you bought upgrades, it was just making your attack higher or your defense higher. It didn't actually change how you looked. That's no longer the case. When you're scrolling through the store, it shows each item on you, like most RPG shops do. And we actually saw that if Kratos wants, he can get giant suits of armor and stuff to make him look like a Spartan warrior. And I kind of like that because... I like RPGs that really make you feel like a different hero at the end than you do at the beginning. And so much about what we've seen in this gameplay really kind of implies to me that that's what they're trying to get across. That this is a very different Kratos and one that isn't quite as strong as he once was. Getting stabbed and beat up is actually something he has to worry about. Maybe it's just the fact that in this new land, things are more powerful than he's ever faced. Now. Something else they really showed in detail is the puzzle solving. It seems like, for whatever reason, Kratos' son is clearly a super genius. Every time you walk up to relics, uh, or any of the runes or anything, Kratos' son will actually translate it. Because a lot of this stuff is written in Norse runes, which is just really weird symbols. And the kid will start reading off stuff like, at one point, you see this humongous puzzle that looks like it's something straight out of Uncharted. It was like this giant wooden wheel with these two wolves chasing the sun and moon. And it's like a giant circular thing. And his son walks up and goes, oh, it's it's uh, whatever the call. Like, I'm just going to use the word Horus, but it wasn't. He's like, oh, it's Horus chasing the sun god each day to make sure that day and night takes place. And so clearly the kid, for whatever reason, is a historian. So maybe it's that his mother, whoever she is, uh, educated him. But the kid is clearly incredibly intelligent. And so when you approach stuff, it seems like the way they're going to handle explaining the world to us is that Kratos isn't going to know what's going on, but the kid does. Because everything we saw, there were three separate clips of them walking up to runes, the kid translating it and explaining to Kratos what's going on, and then he tries to break it down. Now, something that is confusing, and I will admit that this is the one thing I didn't like about the gameplay demo, is... It looks like there is going to be puzzles involving the kid that are straight out of The Last of Us. So if you'll remember when you played The Last of Us, there were a lot of times where uh, there'd be a ledge that was too high to get up. So you lift Ellie and she drops down a ladder or something so Joel can climb up. Pretty obvious, right? Very straightforward, uh, rudimentary puzzle mechanics. Something we're all used to. They do this in God of War. And it really looks out of place. At this point... In the previous God of War games, we've seen Kratos jump 400 feet in the air. We've seen him claw with his bare hands out of the depths of Hades. Stuff like that. And in one clip, there is literally a ledge that's about 10 feet high. Kratos carefully sets his son up there. His son lowers down a chain and then Kratos very slowly climbs up it. So I feel like... It's probably going to be addressed in the story. I'm not even saying that this is a bad thing. I'm saying that it was the most out of place thing I've seen so far from all the God of War gameplay. It looked really strange to see such a weakened Kratos. I mean, he is the God of War, one of the most powerful people in all of fiction. So seeing him unable to lift his own body weight without immense strain was a bit odd. So I'm hoping there's not a ton of those. The fact that they use that in the gameplay clip montage makes it think that it probably comes up at least pretty often, but it still seemed really, really strange. 
Overall, though, I have to say that for this 10 minutes of gameplay, it was extremely, extremely cool. Now I am more hyped than ever. The early gameplay teases from E3 and Sony Expo were fantastic, but I feel like they didn't really convey what the tone of this game was going to be. They didn't really kind of get across how much that Kratos was going to be working with his son and how much he was going to be fighting in this really interesting, more methodical manner. And now I have to say it's definitely my most hyped game of the year. I'm so glad that this is only one month away. Um, if you are curious about this leaked gameplay, I'm sure it's still out there somewhere on the internet. So I'm not going to point you in any directions because if I do, I'm sure this video will get taken down. But uh, it's good stuff. I'm really impressed. Tip of the hat to Sony. You guys are seriously, seriously reinventing a character in a way I never, ever, ever would have thought. Way to go you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Oh man, I actually, uh, I'm going to watch that gameplay again. It's just too good. Oh man, yeah. Oh, hi. I'm just working on the next video. If you want to see what it is, go ahead and click this button and you can subscribe. Also, if you click these video links, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. Now I'm just going to sit here for a minute and uh, wait for you to subscribe. Oh, I guess I could put on these giant glasses. I literally found these on a roller coaster.